Hey guys, John with Terminal Goblin Games here, and today we are going to talk about the Linux file system. The Linux file system is actually a standard called the File System Hierarchy Standard, or FHS. I'm going to go over the portions that you were most likely to interact with as a Linux end user. First up is the home directory, denoted with a tilde. This is where all your user files live, so documents, user specific configurations in .config, and things like game saves. Most of your files will live in this folder. Dot .config is where your configuration files live. Lots of programs will look here for changes. Note the dot in front of this folder. This means it is a hidden file and will only show up if you have show hidden file selected in your file browser or by using the dash a option in ls dash a to list hidden files. Next is slash or your root directory. This is pretty comparative to the C drive on Windows. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here that may look weird. The main things you want here are slash home, which is where your user directories live, slash dev, which is where your devices live, like your keyboard and mouse, because remember, in Linux, everything is a file, slash temp is for temporary files. This folder is clear on each reboot, so don't keep anything too important in here. Slash bin is where your essential command binaries live. Binaries are like .exes, meaning they are compiled code. Slash user contains the majority of user utilities and applications. Slash user slash bin is where the binaries that you install live, so things like Firefox or Emacs or Steam or whatever. And there's a lot more to the file system than what I've shown here today. If you want to know more, you could always read the Wikipedia page. Uh, if you're curious about the user side of things, like .config, you can check out the free desktop XDG base specification page. Both will be linked in the description. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. If this video helped you, please share it to your friends if they need help in the thing that this video covered. Thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.